What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws and today I'm going to show you guys my Can-Am Maverick build. I did take the flags off just because uh, they kind of get in the way when you're trying to drive actually with the way I had them placed like they're really really in the way. So I took those off. Uh, obviously we put a winch on it and we put a repair pack and a nice little paint job on it. Uh, I'm not going to go through the paint job obviously but it is fully upgraded. I did put turbos on it rather than uh, a blower. It doesn't really matter. It gives you about the same amount of power either way. Link these two, show you guys flex. It's got a really good amount of flex for an IFS rig. Uh, so yeah, definitely a nice little crawler build that doesn't look insane. And it's got plenty of power. We can run another dyno over here. See, just torque pulling that front end up. Got 190 torque and 253 horsepower. Pretty decent for a Can-Am. And gear tuning wise, I did uh, tweak these. The first gear is 3.4, second gear is 1.8, third gear 1.1, fourth gear 1.0, fifth gear 0 0.7, and low gear up to 3.7. For the wheels and tires, I didn't update, upgrade them at all. I just pulled the wheel radius all the way up to 1.1 for both front and back left the wheel width alone and the rim size i also left that alone on both front and back now for the suspension tuning i also didn't upgrade this uh it, it's a really basic build just to kind of you know keep it pretty stock looking uh while still getting a little bit of good advantage in off-roading so the travel came all the way up stiffness left it alone shock size shocks and damping all left those alone with the axle width as well being left alone the only difference i did i just lifted it up a little bit put those a little bit bigger tires on it obviously tractor tires to give us all the power and uh yeah it's a pretty simple little build but it does handle very nicely it feels just like a can am should in the game so we're gonna go out to the desert drive around try to collect some gold and uh show you guys how she goes taking a little bit of extra time to load apparently and as I say that of course as usual a little load because it's like oh no he was talking about us go ahead and come on pull our camera out a little bit we do have manual transmission added onto this as well and uh handbrake that's just my preference woohoo Go drive around a little bit. Suspension definitely soaks up all the bumps. Whoa. The back end bounces quite a bit more than the front does, as expected. First person, of course, just the, the basic steering wheel and everything in there. I wasn't free cam, so maybe we should <laughs> go back to free cam here. There we go. Want to still be able to find some... Or, well, see the boxes if we come across them while we trudge around the desert in our nice little Can-Am Maverick. Woo! Oh! That was a nice little move there. It, it, she goes real well for doing some stunts as well. Woo! That front suspension... Probably could use being a little bit, <laughs> a little more, uh, a little stiffer. Uh, that's what I was thinking of. Because definitely, even even though the suspension strength is the same for front and back, the front is definitely feels a lot softer. Woo. Or the back feels stiffer, whichever way you want to consider it. But she'll handle all the bumps you throw at it. Ooh, pull the camera down too far. There we go. I probably should open this up so you guys can see some speeds. I'm sure people will yell at me if I don't show you guys the speed of it. 
especially as we're coming up to the straightaway of the desert here. Woo. I mean, obviously it'll get faster speeds on asphalt, uh, but we're not going for the asphalt. There's a box over there. Perk. Just another cash box, not a gold box. We'll go ahead. Oh, there's a box down here, and that looks to be a gold box. Now, obviously, it is a can am. It goes 120 miles an hour. I don't want to fly across the uh, jump, so we'll redo this run right after we grab this box. Got a nice little bit of gold there, 31 times 6. We're rich. <laughs> All right, drift it. it it's funny. I, I don't even know what vehicles are member only and which ones aren't. But it's funny that people are always bitch about a vehicle being member only. But members do pay for upgrades to the game, basically. You know, I mean, it's five dollar monthly membership. Like they, you know, any member deserves to have free stuff oh that was a perfect flip that was like a double back flip or triple i don't know i was talking more than paying attention to how many flips that was that was nice though that was nice but i mean the you know members are what support the game and allow it to actually be able to you know move forward a lot quicker than it would if there was no membership so it, it stands to good reason that members do deserve to have some vehicles that other people are not able to get Otherwise, it wouldn't be as, you know, it, it wouldn't be as fair for members, even if non-members think it's unfair that they don't get the vehicles. But I mean, just pay five bucks, you know, and you can buy the vehicles. You keep them after your membership. Uh, like if you buy a membership, you know, say you only have five bucks, you buy a membership, you cancel the subscription and you go in game and you buy all the member only vehicles, you still keep them when your membership runs out. It's not like they just disappear out of your garage or anything. Like, you still keep the vehicle. So, you know, for anybody wondering that, I know I get comments uh, sometimes asking that question. So, you know, hopefully that helps some of you guys. Uh, but this Maverick is definitely, definitely doing nicely. Soaking up all the bumps. Ooh, landed. See if we can hit 120 over here. Almost. Woo! Oh, nice landing. Can Am Maverick, one of the nicest uh, side by well, really the nicest side by side we have in game. I've never been a huge fan of the side by sides in the game, just because they're you know they're kind of mad looking. Like, they don't really, you know, like you look at it and you're like, yeah, I don't really want to drive that. But the, the Maverick has a special place in my heart. So I'm really glad this came to the game. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> I get to drive a can -Am Maverick around on a mobile game. Pretty nice. And the wraps and everything's really cool as well. So I get to make my own wraps however I want. Of course, some people uh, kind of abuse this system and they make very inappropriate raps but uh you guys really shouldn't make inappropriate raps just saying all right so we're gonna go back out here to the garage and recording for only 10 minutes so we're gonna go to the woodlands as well with this and uh hit some jumps there see if we can jump the creek with the can am maverick I mean, I'm sure pretty much any vehicle nowadays in Offered Outlaws can jump the creek, but it's definitely a good little test of your vehicle. If you can jump it from the start, jump the creek, and land, you got yourself a pretty good build. There we go. Game all loaded up. We'll go into free cam here. 
repair can am and we'll try to hit this jump Ooh. oh yeah dude that was that, that was easy we easily jumped the creek and we can jump it the other way too pretty easily Woo. I'm sure some people are wondering how it performs in the mud and uh, it performs pretty well in the mud actually no need to drop into low gear no need to lock your diffs jump right on into the mud and just plow on through at eight miles an hour I know that seems kind of slow but considering you're going through the mud it's pretty fast actually and we'll crop this little trail over here you do have to watch your wheelbase a little bit I remember a long time ago this trail used to be hard like this actually used to be a hard trail it's very easy now that's why custom maps are such a nice thing because uh, you know as the game gets better and you know more realistic feeling you know the game might seem a little easier and it's because traction is very much proper like it used to be tr tremendously hard <laughs> to crawl across some rocks with any tire. It just goes to show how far this game has come in its lifespan. I can't even tell you exactly when this game was launched, but I've been playing it ever since. Like I found the game shortly, I want to say like a couple months before it actually came out. Uh, they had like some pictures on their Facebook page and everything of like the game. And I was like, wow, that game looks amazing. You know, it was it was okay. You know, compared to now, it was okay back then. And, you know, especially for a mobile game. So, you know, I followed their page and after a while came out and I was there that night. First night the game was out, I downloaded it and started playing it. I actually had, uh, you know, like I, I was one of the first few to complete some of these trails on Woodlands in the Desert Map. Woo. Trailblazer achievement. Like, how many people remember getting a Trailblazer achievement uh, when the game came out? You know, for being one of the first few people that actually did complete a trail. It, it was a pretty cool feeling, you know? Like, knowing, hey, I actually am getting, you know, like, I'm actually getting extra stuff. Like, it was gold. Like, you got, like, I, I, I want to say it was like 10 gold or something like that you got. Like, it wasn't a whole lot, you know? But it was definitely a lot to get you started in the game. Coming a trailblazer, and it's just, like, cool as hell. Because you were like, wow, I really am one of these, you know, first few people playing this game. <coughs> it was pretty awesome. And nowadays, <laughs> it's funny because when the game came out, you, you had to run the trails for anything. Like, even when you're first starting the game now, you still have to, like, run the trails or find some boxes to unlock the maps. Like, back when this game first came out, that was all we did. <laughs> we got on and we were running trails. Although it was never a 32-second time on that trail. Like, all the trails now have, like, this really insane times on them, and it's like, I... I don't know how you did that. <laughs> I always feel like hacks. <laughs> like somebody did something. Because the times are just insane. But definitely, uh, you know, the, the Maverick here for being a basic build is definitely nice. Like, I remember when this stuff wasn't even here. This got added in with trail races. Pretty crazy. Woo! Oh, got him. <laughs> I don't even know who I got, but the truck was driving nice. Ooh, found a big old box. Out here in the woodlands. Seven gold. It had seven gold in it. Wow. I've never seen that low of an amount of gold in a box before. Seven gold. Jeez. Very small amount. That's okay. We don't need guild. 
I mean, we do, but we got a decent amount still left over. Oh, yeah. Can and Maverick, everybody. Amazing little build. Flying through the mud, taking jumps like a boss. Ooh, it'll even rock crawl as long as you don't, you know, uh, what's the word? High center. That's the word. Yeah, as long as you don't high center, it'll, it'll crawl up some rocks, too. Woo. There we go. Get her all cleaned off here just to get muddy again. Oh, there's a box right here. I don't know it's right here because there's there's nothing else here. Hey, the world kind of ends in a minute. Oh, man. Hand anchor. Toe, 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 toe. Woo. <laughs> I didn't want to be high-centered right there. Especially when there's a box, like, five feet away. There it is. Plenty of time. 33 seconds to spare. That's cool when the boxes show up like that. 32 times 6 gold. Definitely nice. I'll hit this little jump here. Oh, yeah. Landed very nicely. Woo! Oh! We smacked the back end off a rock and kept going. Definitely a nice build. I mean, this is like a super simple build, which I've kind of been doing a lot of these lately, where the builds aren't like really insane, and I don't, I'm not spending like hours on tuning them or anything. And they're performing like better than some of the vehicles that I've spent hours on tuning on. So definitely pretty cool little builds. Very simple builds, but clean and, uh, you know, clean and elegant builds. Like, they, the builds I've been doing a lot lately are really something, like, you'd see just anybody with, like, a Can am Maverick could have a Can am Maverick that looks like this. Just some nice little mud tires on it. Not even portal axles. So it's definitely a nice build. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you guys later.